it's Stacy from Peony Lane Designs. It was the night before Christmas, and all I wanted to do was go junkin'. I've got my lucky junkin' hat. The thrift store's open, and I haven't been junkin' in a while, so I'm going today. I know there's gonna be a lot of Christmas stuff. I think they might have it on sale. Um, maybe I'll pick up a couple pieces for next year's Christmas sale. Um, this year's Christmas month was not a good month for me. So I'm a little disappointed. We'll have to see what I do um, going forward in 2018. But I am going to go across the street to the thrift store and find out if they've got any junk for me. I just took the corner a little fast and like, do you see the dresser back there? The drawers all just flew out of it. Ugh, I got about 10 bucks. Let's see what they've got for me for 10 bucks. to leave behind that beautiful iron stone set. I can't even tell you how bad that hurts. This is just, it's, it was too expensive. This is one of the thrift stores I don't frequent because their prices have gone sky high. This is why winter junking sucks. Beautiful Red Cliff Ironstone tea set, six piece tea set. No, no chips, no damage. Plus it had a sauce terrain. And that was in perfect condition with a ladle. <sighs> Such a hard job, y'all. I was able to pick up one piece of ironstone. The Japanese ironstone. I always find ironstone at this place though. This time they bird dogged that that set. They wanted $23.75 a piece for each the teapot and then the sugar and creamer. And then the vegetable or the sauce terrain. Was sixteen seventy five. That was not gonna come home. I I just it it can't. <laughs> a I didn't have the money. I spent nine of my ten dollars. 
but yeah. Oh, come on, guys. Uh, old people, learn to drive. You know, I know you got your license out of a cereal box. No lie, my grandma got her license out of a cereal box, but you should probably take the 55 Alive class. Oh, gosh, this has just been a heartbreaking trip. I did find a few small pieces. I found some display easels that I always need. I always need display easels. Some smaller plastic ones, which are nice because I have larger ones, but I really needed the really tiny ones for um, display. So I picked those up, they're 50 cents a piece. I found some um, quick rust, which I haven't seen in a really long time. It's a, a metal panel that um, you can make shapes out of, cut shapes out of, and uh, put some apple cider vinegar on it and it rusts like that. So you get that great patina. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with it, but I hadn't seen it in so long. It was like, oh really? I'm gonna buy it as a buck. Uh, what else? Found a phone case. I always find my phone cases for like a buck and then I, I grab them when they're new. It was new, so I grabbed it. It says Faith on it. I'm like, I like it. And then it was clear, so it had I could see the color of my phone through it. Then I bought the iron stone and a watering can, which spring is on its way, so that that'll sell really well at Picket Fence. We sell a ton of watering cans, um, especially if they're in good condition, which this one was, old vintage-looking watering can. Uh, I'm just and those pretty glasses. Those pretty black glasses. I really wanted those for myself, but I have a, I have a, I have a, a sickness. It's a sickness that I really need to be cured of. I buy dishes and I keep them, and that's not a good thing. I don't have enough cupboards in my tiny little house for all these dishes, and the black glasses would have sold just fine. I could have sold those like that, but again, they were a buck a piece. A piece and the, the wine glasses were that was an eight piece set the uh, smaller cordial glasses there were four of them and then there were two like um, like a snifter uh, that were a dollar a piece so I mean I did I had ten dollars that whole set was way more than ten it was more than ten dollars so I couldn't do it I was like oh I'll just overdraft my bank account. No, I'll do it. I have spending limits. I have goals this year and limits, and I'm gonna be good. You are keeping me in, on task. Check the goals link. Find out why you have. You have to be my my eyes. You gotta keep me on track. I left them behind. I want a good girl in the comments below. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe now so you can be a you know a good girl person. Give me a good girl or a bad girl when I'm bad. Sometimes I'm going to be bad, y'all. My goal this year is to uh, stay on budget, which, oh, it's so hard. It's so hard. And improve my sales. To do that, I have to have inventory, though. I need to be posting daily on Etsy something to keep my inventory stock up and that's going to be really difficult if I can't buy stuff so that's why I'm going to go on the 100 mile garage sale this year um, it was a difficult choice because it's the same weekend as Rustic Mama's Market which I've participated in since they opened and I just can't do it I can't it's too big of an opportunity for me to um, load up on inventory Fluffy's going completely empty to the 100 mile garage sale and she won't be empty when we come home. So, and my sister, I'm hoping I can con her into going with me with her truck. Please, Jenny, come with me with your truck and we will uh, load that sucker too. Uh, she's got a larger Toyota SUV, which I can load all the smalls in and then furniture and fluffy and that would be awesome, but I don't know that she's willing to do that. <laughs> oh, Lord. But I'll show you what I got. I'll show you everything.
for a nine dollar haul i mean i've had worse but it's still just heartbreaking guys it was heartbreaking because that iron stone was gorgeous it was gorgeous and i just have a hard time maybe they'll have a sale coming up i feel sick Ugh. oh that was so hard i'm gonna stop whining now I had to pay $23.75 for the whole set. The whole six piece set. But not each section. Oh my god, no. No. No, I can't do it. Not at a thrift store. You know they got it donated to them for free, so it's really, really hard for me to pay that. Um, if you guys just want to hand off your iron stone for free, you should call me. Call me. I'll take it. <laughs> I have no pride. Um, yeah. I, I, oh, thanks for junking with me, everybody. I appreciate it. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, once we get to a thousand subscribers, we are still having that giveaway. $500 Target gift card. Uh, oh, yeah, you want that. And then some paint and some brushes and all this good stuff. Maybe I'll throw in a junkin' hat. What do you think? My new junkin' hat. Love my new Jenkins hat. I'll put a link below to the Etsy store where I bought this because I've had a lot of questions about it. So, yeah, support your local makers. Etsy is awesome for that. And I appreciate you guys watching. Happy Jenkins, everybody. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.